Hi, my name is Mark Polt, and I'm a real estate investor in the greater Charlotte, North Carolina area. I'm what you would call a no-frills, no-thrills real estate investor. If you're looking for somebody with a big shiny car in the background or you know, a nice studio office or someone who's trying to sell you a $19.95 a month subscription to their newsletter, I'm not that guy. Go check out a different channel. So I just left the courthouse. We uh, had to file eviction on my habitually late renter. He's a good guy. He's just always late. I feel bad for him to some degree. He, uh, you know, his his uh, job is kind of screwing him over a little bit, but you know, we give him an extra 10, 12 days more than we normally do anybody else. See if he can come up with the money. If he doesn't, the fees have got to be killing him. So, you know, usually ends up paying by uh, by the eviction court eviction date, but. You know, we end up making uh, at least an extra 10% with the 5% late fee and uh, the 5% court filing fee. There's a couple other fees in there too, but, um, you know, most of that is just us passing along costs to him. So today I wanted to uh, discuss delayed gratification. Did you know that uh, one of the signs of intelligence is the ability to uh, delay gratification? So one way they uh, measure intelligence in uh, small children is they will uh, give them, they'll put, they'll put a marshmallow down, like a big one and said, listen, you can either have this marshmallow now or in five minutes you can have two or sometimes three. And they're able to, they found a correlation, a pretty strong correlation between, you know, children that understand that, hey, I got this marshmallow in front of me, but I can have two or three if I just wait a few minutes. And, um, and intelligence, and then they find that less intelligent children just take what's in front of them and eat it. And I found that uh, very, very interesting. <clears throat> So this, um, this particular business, in my opinion, at least the way that I do it, is a delayed gratification uh, business. And, and what I mean by that is, you know, we buy really crappy homes. I mean, some of the worst of the worst, full of fleas and roaches and nastiness, rat droppings everywhere. Uh, I haven't seen a rat yet. I think I've seen a couple of dead mice, but, uh, and that was actually after someone moved out. Disgusting. I mean, just disgusting how some people live. But, you know, it, it takes money up front, takes work up front, and, uh, you know, it could take up to six months to rehab a home, get it looking the way that it needs to get looked, and then renting it out. And then, you know, maybe for a year, you're having to pay off all those rehab you did, maybe two years. That money's going towards, you know, those expenses, or maybe it's going to, re, you know, that money's going to rehab the next one. But... And I'm trying to uh, really pound this into my son's head that, listen, if you're willing to do some work up front, maybe delay gratification for two or three years. If you start when you're 18 or 19, uh, you know, by the time you're 21 or 22, you probably never have to work again. But you're going to have to put the work in and you're going to have to delay that gratification. Now, when I was 18 or 19, there was nothing you're going to tell me to delay gratification for me. Um you know, when it came to stuff like drinking or something like that, I did join the military, which is definitely not a, uh, a uh, instant gratification uh, action, but uh, I knew that it would, you know, I needed it. I was, I was really on a bad path. So, you know, are you able to delay your gratification? Are you able to say, I am willing to forego, you know, having things like my new Louis Vuitton bag? My wife, uh, my wife is hating that right now, by the way. She wants uh, at least one new Louis bag every, every year. I told her, no Louis bag for you this year. But, uh, you know, she realizes that if, you know, we can maybe pinch a little bit more than, than we normally do, um, which we don't really pinch a whole lot, but uh, I guess not splurge like we could do. And, you know, we get in there and, and we get these homes done that, uh, you know, she's going to be really, really close to retirement. And uh, she's on board with that. So, um, you know, just sharing my thoughts on uh, delayed gratification. If you are if you are one that is unable to uh, delay your gratification, then this is not the business for you. Uh, even flippers have to delay their gratification. Flippers go through, I mean, the amount of fees they pay and stuff is ridiculous. So I just don't... Um, and I just don't get it. But, you know, if you're willing to uh, if you're willing to sacrifice for a little bit of time and you're willing to work hard so that, uh, you know, you can maybe live easier on the back end. then this, uh, this may be the right business for you. 
and it uh, they actually show a high sign of it or a high level of intelligence. Anyways, hope you go out there and live the you won't stop me lifestyle. Tell you this, you're not going to stop me. You know, the um, attendant not paying is not going to stop me. You know, we will kick them out if we have to, but uh, you know we'll turn that property around within a uh, within a week or two. I really doubt that this guy is ever going to leave. One, he's got the cheapest rent out of any uh, any of our properties. Two, I just don't see him ever wanting to leave. He likes the area. He just needs to get his finances under a little bit more control. Anyways, I wish you success.